This is my weekly trip to Life Challenge where I teach every week in the heart of Detroit, driving through these neighborhoods and uh, praying, praying for these neighborhoods. But I believe with all my heart, thanks to what God's doing in this revival, that there is going to be a transformation of Detroit. That there will be a day when these properties will be the most sought-after properties in the country because people are coming from all over this world to come and witness the revival of God's glory, to come to a house of glory. Brian Simmons shared early on in the revival that God doesn't just want a house of prayer, but he wants a house of glory. And that's just, after last night, we had such an incredible service Monday night. On a Monday night at our fireplace service, and I was just struck. I was just struck that people came out on a Monday night to worship God, and it was one of the most powerful services yet. People came. New people came. And that's what's mind-boggling is, is word is spreading about this revival. <laughs> and it was an interesting night. We had someone doing crack in the bathroom and tried to minister to him, but uh, we had to call, a, call the police on him. But it still struck me that there's a place someone can go to. We weren't able to help him immediately in a, in a deliverance kind of manner that moment, but one day we will be able to see instantaneous deliverances. And a person shouldn't have to wait till Sunday morning for the glory to fall. Can it be that in a city this size, a metro area this size, that we could sustain at least nightly meetings, if not 24-7 meetings? I. Does a person have to wait? What if they're in trouble Monday night and they need a touch of the glory? Do they have to wait till Sunday morning? And then again, <laughs> what if the glory doesn't fall on Sunday morning? Or what if they're in a church that doesn't have the glory of God falling? And so I'm just committed. I'm committed to this revival. I'm committed to 24-7. I'm committed to nightly meetings and we're scheduled for 21 days, but I believe it's going to be, uh, oops, I touched the, uh, touched something there, touched the uh, flash bulb. <laughs> but uh, I believe that the highways will be filled with people coming from all around the nation to Detroit to experience the presence and the power of God.